Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Shinjuku Station. Today I'm up bright and early. It's about uh, a little bit before 7 a.m. But I'm here to actually try something new that I've never done before. I'm going to try the all-inclusive bus tour that the students from Fukushima University put together. I'm going to see if I can go buy a ticket, and we're going to get on our way. Today I'm headed back to Aizu Wakamatsu. Last time I visited here, I came by bullet train, but you can actually get here more easily and cheaply by a direct JR Highway bus, which I'm trying out today. Many people know Aizu Wakamatsu as a castle city that's one of the last places that fought to keep the traditional samurai way of life before the modernization of Japan. Today, the city still boasts its rich culture through historic spots and some new local favorites, which you can visit through the city's little golden ticket, the Ochoko Pass. So here it is, the Osaka Pass, and all I have to do is show them the date on the back, and you're free to ride all day long. One of the things about traveling in Japan is that it's pretty easy to get to a lot of places, but once you're there, sometimes it's really hard to actually get around within the city. But one of the things I really appreciate here in Aizu Wakamatsu already is that with the Ochoko Pass there are two buses actually dedicated to just getting you around and all you have to do is just show it and get on and ride. So let's check out the first spot here. The next spot is Cafe Taro, a jazzy joint that makes Age Taro, which is kind of like a deep fried donut, for a discount when you show your Choco Pass. I got the Anko flavor Age Taro. I have no idea what this is going to taste like. This is my first time. Okay, so here we go. I think this is sugar. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. There's Anko inside, and there's like a sugar coating on the outside, but it's still crispy and still kind of like fluffy on the inside and perfectly warm. There's a castle here. <sighs> Inside the castle is a museum commemorating the Aizu people, and on top of the castle is a breathtaking view and a detailed history of how the entire castle town was once burnt in a fire during the Civil War. Afterwards, I made my final stop for the day at Matsudaira Royal Garden before heading home to our ryokan for the night. It's so calm and peaceful in here. And when we first arrived at the gate, we showed our Ochoko Pass and they gave us some free green tea to enjoy during our stay here for an ultimate relaxing treat.
everyone, welcome to day two here in Aizu Wakamatsu. This little beauty yesterday, the Ochoko got us around town pretty well and some really good parks and discounts and free stuff like the green tea, but it's actually over today. It's only a one day pass, so I'm going to get a ticket just for the same local bus um, without the Ochoko pass, so I won't get the same discounts without it, but it's still gonna be fun and still really easy to get around. Um, but first I kind of wanted to show you the room that we stayed in. There's right on the water, there's an onsen and hot springs, um, the room is pretty big. There's a lot of space here. You can see the bed back there and like obviously there's the view from the windows. The bathroom's pretty nice. It has these like marble accents, but the bus is coming in about half an hour, so I'm gonna get packed and get out the door. The spots I shared today were all ones I picked out, but you can pick any type of tour, activity, local food, or historic site that you want to see on the website for the Ochoko Pass. In addition to a full day of free bus rides, all of the participating destinations offer some kind of perk when you show your Ochoko Pass. You can visit for a day, but I came back for a few days to learn more about the stories of Japan's last samurai and why they disappeared after the Boshin War. To find out, I visited Nishinkan, a school in Fukushima where students go to learn the samurai code. I'll share more of this in my next video, so until then, stay tuned. I'll see you then. Bye!